You will not be charged for this call. This call is from an inmate and a sailor prison. This call is being recorded and is subject to monitoring. Hang up to decline the call. I thought it was a joke. Dial five now. If you wish. What's up, family? What up, family? How you feeling, bro? <laughs> man, I'm hanging in there, man. I, I I hate the fact that you know I had to really you know hear back from you on the terms. I'm just ready for you to beat your pill and come on home, man. You know, but um, okay. yeah. And then I guess once you put the book out, by the time you put the book out, you know I'm reading it and get to the page 409, so they see the thing about MC8 and they feel like I'm just going in on them or whatever but like i was telling people listen if you lose a family men member to the penitentiary you know because of someone's statement it ain't saying that his uh him solely got him life but he contributed you know what i'm saying so that was my whole thing and people just act like i'm bullying a man or something well you know it's like this so i'm gonna get you the wrong right hey he did what he did you know what i mean and he played a part of it, you know, before he went, went before the grand jury. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's all the people, you know, gave him 100 grand. You know, they played a role in the movie. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> then, he, uh, then he testified against my cousin in trial. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we had three trials all together. They broke all our trials up. But everything we got is public record. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it's necessary. You know, I think it's the paperwork out there to you. You know, it ain't no problem about that. But let me say this to you, bro. Eight at this point in life is irrelevant. Exactly. And which I know. Right. You see what I'm saying? So let's not waste our time and energy on something negative. Exactly. Let's, let's focus on something positive. You see what I'm saying? Because you need to be careful with the things that you say. You know what I'm saying? Because what I see what's going on out there in the world with the homies dying killing each other out there mm -hmm. and the you see what I'm saying the poverty that we're living in that hurts me that's what I know I know I played a part in tearing up the foundation in our hood man out of ignorance exactly. out of drugs of my own people right. you know what I'm saying so when I see the young out there that's, some, that's the foundation I laid so they fall in the footsteps of something I did when I was a fool mm -hmm. Let's call it from a federal prison. It hurts to be a part of that, man. Exactly. Look at how to put the guns down. And you know what I mean? This one's feeding at me every day. What I done done. Mm -hmm. It's not about nobody else. Right. That's what Nate Hill done, homie. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what I got to focus on. That's what I had to, that's what I got to repair in life. That's why it's detrimental for me to get there. Because I don't live a better life. And I know a way from that slum. I know a way. And that's why they're holding me here, man. Exactly. Because I know how to get out of this picture. I know how to uplift our people as a whole. As a whole. It ain't nothing I'm dreaming about. It's not nothing I'm dreaming about. It's something I don't touch. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? In real life. And, and they that's what we gotta focus on. Right. They don't want they, they don't want us to reform each other. That kind of, like I told people, I, I can't consider myself a motivational speaker and a life coach. And I have to show examples to the youth. You know what I'm saying? So in that situation, your book and your life became the example. And it was like how this guy could have stayed an artist and a, a actor, you know what I'm saying, and just been a civilian. But when the time that he gonna come and say he super cripping and he cripping every other line in his music, and then he do something dishonorable, like going to trial and testifying, it's like, come on. So in that situation, he just fell, he just fell victim of to walk in his shame. So come clean with me, cause you see what I'm trying to do. Like you see that I'm trying to explain this to these children how. Don't get the mixing with street guys because it's stuff that comes with that. So because you and you know and because you done that, you was you was you know got caught in the trick bags and worked for the government. You didn't work for my brother. That's what I'm saying. You didn't you didn't come you didn't come to testify in Nate behalf or plead the fifth. And that's why he said Lisa Ray kept it more official than him. So at the end of the day, my my whole thing was. My whole thing was them your words. They making it like I'm putting words in your mouth or something. I'm like I'm reading a page out of this book. I can't make this up. This ain't no lie. This and you know and then they didn't understand how the government 
and the judge had us. Uh, so see- I'm gonna hang up. I only got five hundred phone calls, right? Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna try my best to call you back, right? Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't let it out for You know, I'm just getting over this COVID, so you know how this thing goes. You I, know what I mean? I just wanna let man. you know, I love you, bro. I'm waiting I love on you. you too, man. I love what you're doing, man. Right. It's nothing but love. So, there y'all have it. Ain't no cap and ain't no pump faking with Capone. You heard it from the horse's mouth, man, Nate Hill. Huh.